Today we look at filmmaking channels that you must subscribe to. The reason why I share this is because a lot of free content is available on YouTube that you can watch and make you become a better filmmaker. So let me share the channels that I think every filmmaker should subscribe to. But first, subscribe to this channel as part of your subscriptions. Later, we'll be talking about the pro group that you must join for free so that you cannot miss our next webinar about creating a winning proposal. But before that, let's get started. Number one is Indie Mogul. Indie Mogul is hosted by Ted and Dave, and it's a great channel for filmmakers. <laughs> what is that that you got there? I got a secret. We don't drink beer. We don't drink beer. I've known Ted for a long time. Mm -hmm, yeah. No. <laughs> Ooh, that okay. beer looks cold. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> what I love about this channel is how they get big filmmakers in big productions like Hollywood and give them low end gear to create great content. He also brings directors, um, DOPs, producers of Hollywood films, and they break down scenes of some of the movies that they have produced. They break down things about lighting and developing the sense, sets and so much more. So, no matter where you are, no matter what camera you have, no matter what budget you have, these are going to be some easy, simple steps that you can do to make your product shots look like this. Wow! So, ready for this? Justin, you ready? Absolutely, let's cool. get it. Justin, I know that you normally shoot on your, your beloved Red 8K camera, yeah. but instead uh, we have this camera here. Oh, great. This is the Canon 6D Mark II. It's a great camera. How do you turn it on? So if you want to check out this channel, the link is in the description below. Next is Epic Like Media. This is the only channel that the host tells you not to subscribe. If you liked this video, do not subscribe to our channel. For a long time now, we've been encouraging people to unsubscribe if they have, and to leave negative comments, to leave a thumbs down, because we don't care about such things. I discovered this channel a few months ago and has become one of my favorite. They have a very detailed way of teaching filmmaking and especially lighting. So they're going to expose for the buildings first and then light our subjects after that. Now let's take a look at the behind the scenes shot. The way they do their tutorials makes you see how possible and easy it is to create amazing looks from the gear that you have available with you. So go check them out and you learn a lot about lighting. Next is Aperture and of course we know Aperture as being one of the most successful light equipment companies ever. They have very good lights and we all love them. However, they have a channel that is not just about selling their lights but educating filmmakers about lighting. when companies take their time to be resourceful to their clients. I recommend this channel and of course you can buy their lights if you want to but more importantly subscribe to their channel. Next is one of my favorites, Paka Walbeck. Paka Walbeck is a cinematographer and a businessman in Utah and runs one of the biggest filmmaking online courses called Full Time Filmmaker. What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over my top 5 cinematic gimbal movements for creating wedding videos on the DJI RS2. Here we go. This channel has made me literally grow my skill and also my business likewise. All, it's all about lighting, business, inspiration, everything about filmmaking, you can get it on this channel. What we're gonna do is a parallax here. We're gonna do a wide parallax and a tight parallax. All you're doing is you're moving one direction while your camera pans the other direction. And so with this shot, we're gonna have Tanner and Shay running to this cliff edge as I'm parallaxing through these rocks. And I'm gonna be starting behind this tree here to add more foreground, kind of a reveal. You might not buy the course, but you can get amazing free content on their YouTube channel. Now they have even expanded their production by having more hosts to the channel which makes it even better and more diverse. So have a look at this channel and you learn a lot about it. 
So before we go to the VFX channel, let me tell you about the pro group and why I insist that you should join this group. We have a free membership of photographers and filmmakers where we share exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere on YouTube or even our podcast. These include webinars, workshop series, email courses, guides, and even live Q&A sessions. To join this free platform, use the first link in the description below. And also do not forget to check out our podcast, which is available on our website, www.photolongers.com forward slash podcast. So, Let's go to the VFX and editing channels, starting with Cinecom.net. This channel is very engaging and they recreate VFX of famous characters like Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Hulk, and so on. What are we doing? I'm creating the Cinecom multiverse, Janik. <laughs> They also do amazing effects that look really, really nice. And they use Premiere Pro and After Effects, so you don't have an excuse. The things that they do, you can also create yourself by following the instructions. So have a look at this channel, maybe you may be called the VFX guy. Next is Video Copilot. If you want a channel that you will learn about motion graphics and VFX, this is the channel. Introducing Shockwave. Includes 50 animated Shockwave elements. They have a platform where you can buy motion graphics templates if you do not want to create them from scratch. But they give you the ability to learn and create these effects of your, for yourself using Adobe After Effects. So go watch their tutorials and you'll learn so much about creating motion graphics. Go subscribe and look at their channel. The next sets of channels are more about gear reviews, starting with Gerald and Dan. This channel is a mixture of providing tech support for creatives while documenting Gerard's unending uh, crusade of finding the best gear for the dollar or for the money. Remember back in the summer when we discussed how Aperture only seems to be bringing new value to the more premium categories, with many of you hoping for some new budget offerings? Well, they listened, and Aperture will soon be shipping four new lights that start as low as $200. He tests different tech and gadgets and reviewing products from a value perspective, while also providing tutorials and guides for content creators on using the same gear that he's reviewing. Something you can do with these new lights that you can't do with the bigger COBs is use an umbrella. These lights come with an umbrella receptacle if you'd prefer to go that route. My only grievance here is that the power cable that plugs in here is very snug when if you put the rod of the umbrella through here and then you plug in a power cable. When I want a detailed and in-depth review of a particular gear that I want to buy or know about, I run to his channel. Sometimes he can be very complicated, but man, we cannot remain simple forever, especially if we are growing. So check out this channel and you learn a lot about gear. Next is Kai W. Now, Kai is an addict of gear, and I don't think there is gear this guy does not has not revealed. So do you need a super fast lens? But what is it, first of all? Let's show you. So this is a Lauer. Hashtag not an ad, not sponsored. They, it's not. The way Kai reviews his gear is truly remarkable. He just says things the way they are. If the gear is crap, it is crap. So he reviews gear raw and he uses it in a real life context so that you can see how to use it. Do you want to see a super fast lens? Oh, uh, I have to do a long walk back now. <laughs> and without forgetting, he's also very funny. So you'll be hooked to the end because of his humorous videos. Next is Studio Binder. Now, Studio Binder is a company. It's a production and management solution that helps video and photo productions create call sheets, short lists, uh, shooting schedules, breakdowns, storyboards, mood boards, and more. However, they have a channel that teaches about filmmaking, not only about script writing, but also technical stuff like lighting, camera work, and so on. What is color temperature? Today, we're going to look at all aspects of color temperature what it is, where it comes from, and how to use it. These are companies that I would buy from Intern because they are offering value to us for free. And one of my favorite videos is how they broke down the process of 
shooting a short film from planning budgeting producing up to the day of the shoot so make sure that you check that out the final channel is an editing channel from an award winning nominated editor for big creators and the channel is called this guy edits now the way this channel approaches editing is very different than just the normal cuts and having transition and effects So I'm on my way to visit one of the editors of the documentary, The Square. I have learned a lot about storytelling using editing and this is the channel that I go to when I want to learn more about storytelling via editing. Now I won't give you more details about this channel because it's available for you and you can use the link in the description below to watch the, sun, the, the channel. Now as a bonus, there are channels that I subscribe to that maybe do not teach about filmmaking but they are more of inspirational channels. Number one is Mati Hapoya. Note to self, don't be lazy and scared of the cold. I thought, you know, it's cold outside, I'll just fly through the window. Don't do that. Oh. The drone is fine though. Peter McKinnon. And Niklas Crystal. I have a problem. And that problem is that I work too much. For the last one and a half years, I've been living in my small one-room apartment in Germany and most of my days look like this. I get up early, I eat my breakfast. Now these three channels have amazing storytelling abilities, yet still retaining very high filmmaking skills. Sometimes they throw in some tutorials, but they have more of inspirational business and documenting kind of videos about their lives and their filmmaking. So go check them out, Peter McKinnon, Marty Hapoya and Niklas. Crystal. And hope you have learned from this video. But first of all, do not forget to join the free pro group so that you cannot miss our upcoming webinar on how to write a winning proposal to get more clients. So if you want to learn more about building a photography business, then here is a video for you to watch so that you can be able to learn how to do that. And hope this video has been of help to you. And until next time, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and remember, learn, practice, and create. Peace.